making the slide bars is going to be relatively easy I'm sure in days of old before cheap machine tools these would have been done by hand with a hacksaw and some files there are two pairs that need to be made and the only thing to note is that each pair will be handed that is this hole needs to go on one side for one bar and on the other side for the other bar luckily I've already got some quarter by 3 8 stock so the first thing I need to do is cut a couple of lengths and then use an end mill to bring them into dimension as we can see I'm working with a pair here so having machined them to length I centre drill and drill the mounting hole for the cylinder cover end which is located in the centre of the bar I then move on to the holes at the motion plate end these are the holes that are handed but that doesn't matter just yet so I can drill them both together from one side of the pair of bars Now I move on to cutting the profile at the cylinder end and I use a end mill to bring down the thickness of the slide bar from 6.35mm down to 4 To cut the angle I reposition the slide bar in the machine vise and use a ruler to both help me position it correctly but also to ensure that the scribe line is offset round about a millimetre or so above the top of the jaw and then working by eye I use an end mill to machine off the material down to as close to that line as possible. For the motion plate end I take a similar approach with an end mill but once I've reduced the thickness I then go on to using a round nose end mill to give me the required profile. Almost done, just a bit of clean up work required with a file and then a good polish with some memory cloth. Before I can finish this video I do have to address one of my issues from earlier on. We can see that my attempts to get the piston rod hole central to the stuffing gland body went horribly wrong. The outcome being that the gland body on this particular cover is asymmetric and my fix at the time was to actually bring it down one and a half mil undersize on one side. So to compensate for that I've just cut a small piece of 1.6 mil mild steel filed it to shape and also to thickness, drilled a locating hole which aligns the slide bar clamping bolt and then fitted it between the slide bar and the gland body to bring it back out to dimension. And there we go, another nice little exercise in basic machining operations. Thanks for watching.